Like, do you, of course you don't believe in God. Yeah. That, I think that's a really important question that we should tackle in. Okay. Like, if, in regards to why you're not believing in God. So as Muslims, we believe that the manifestations of the universe right now, we see signs. Yeah. And signs is, for example, yourself as well. Like right now, when I see you, when I see your nose is next to your mouth. Why? Because when you, when you eat, you smell food. Yeah. Your eyebrows are next to your eyes. Why? Because when you sweat, it contains salt. Yeah. So the eyebrows protect your eyes from getting damaged. So when it comes to your joints, your elbows, your body system, I don't believe that could be randomly. I don't believe someone you could just, for example, like you know a lot of individuals, they believe in evolution. Or we were once apes, or we were humans. But it does not give us any explanation of the origins of the universe. In the Quran, there's a simple argument it uses for atheism. I'm not sure if you're aware of it or not. In the Quran it says, yeah, were they created by nothing? Or were they the creator of themselves? Or were they the creator of the heavens of the universe? If you are created of nothing, that like nothing is not even a thing, let alone to create something else. But what is nothing? That's what I'm saying, it's not a thing. But nothing is nothing is not a thing. I would argue that nothing is something. Okay, what is nothing? Because in, in, in something, okay. nothing is the absence of something. And what is what is that? And if you look at quantum 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 physics, yeah. if you look at the atom, yeah. right, the, the nucleus at the heart, yeah. and then you've got the electrons going around. Okay. And for very many years they could not no one no one knew what quantum physics was. Okay. And they applied a lot of postulates and yeah. assu made assumptions. Okay. And until they did a few experiments and they actually saw that, that space around yeah. around the nucleus, it was nothing, but there was something going on in there. Okay. There were energy waves so, going so wait, wait. Is that nothing then? No, no something. That's something. That's my point. So no, nothing no. is something. I, no, 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 no. What you're mentioning right now, you're saying there was something inside of it. Exactly. So therefore, that is not nothing. Nah. What I'm trying to say to you is, what I'm trying to say to you is, no, no. I, the, the reason what I'm trying to say to you is that nothing is not even a thing, let alone I know. to create something well, else. Is, is so, no, so wait. Look at quantum physics. Yeah. Would you agree that quantum physics is at the heart of everything in the world? No, why would I say? Why is quantum physics everything half the no, world? No, 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 does quantum, it, does like, that explain? Like, like, does that, like, does like, quantum physics? Like, like wait, that does, is, that is does that explain physics. God? Does that explain God to me? No, no, no. Yeah. I'm, explain, I'm just saying, like, yeah. in our universe, in yeah. our vast, expansive yeah. universe, what fundamentally do we have? We have atoms. Absolutely. Atoms. We have it, we have it on a big level, yep. and we have it on a smaller level. Yep. But on that atomic level, what you see is yep. that. The space between the nucleus the and the electrons. Yep. They, people will say, this, theoretically, you would say it's nothing. Okay. Right? Because it's, it's no space. Yeah. It's just space. Yeah. But that, there's something that exists in that nothingness. Okay, my friend, yeah, that's terminology now, yeah? When we actually define nothing, when we go to the English definition of nothingness, that is, wait, wait, nothing is not a thing. I know. What I'm trying to say to you is that when you're talking about the space, no problem. You, you don't mind if you go there, yeah? That's fine because that guy is doing my heading to be fair, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. A lot of people do that to be fair. I'm not too sure why, man. They just shout and scream. You know, these type of con conversations, yeah, let's stay here. I think this is good. I think these type of conversations are the best, yeah? Constructive. Yeah, construct the conversation so we can learn from each other open. and open to the truth as well. And I'm sure you're open minded. I'm open minded. Maybe I can learn something from you and maybe you can learn something from me. That's, that's the best. Okay, so What's your name, my name is Osama. What's your name? Alexi. Alexi. Lovely. Really nice to meet you, my Where friend. Yeah. Are you from? Originally, I'm from Pakistan. From Pakistan. How about yeah. yourself? I'm half Russian, half English. Half Russian, half English. Yeah, nice yeah. combination. Yeah. yeah, yeah allies, yeah. so cool. Uh, uh, not allies. No, okay. So, now back to the topic we're talking about. Yeah. When you're talking about something, like when you're saying we, we call it nothing, but there's actually something inside. Yeah. I would not use the terminology of nothing. Mm -hmm. And the reason why I'm gonna go link it back to God is because when, when when in the Quran it says yeah, were they created by nothing or were they created themselves? The reason why the Quran, Allah Subhanahu wa Taala, uses the argument is in order for us to reflect and actually understand. Did we as human beings come from nothingness? Did our origins come from nothingness? Did the atoms come from nothingness? A lot of individuals, they say Big Bang. Big Bang is a cause. How can you, uh, sorry, it's an effect. How can we say an effect explains everything? We yeah. cannot say an effect of something is an explanation. Yeah. So when, and when uh, the Allah also uses the argument, were we the creator of themselves? If you already existed, there was no need for you to create yourself. Yes. So that's like logical and tangible that's arguments I mean. that and we use. I think, I think, for example, it is very logical. But Why is logical? Sorry, uh, the Quran, yeah, okay, like the, the, the reasoning. And the, that the, reasoning uh, is logical, for example, yeah. Uh, I talk a lot about the contingency argument. Here, okay, about the hadith. Yeah, it's hadith the contingency argument. I personally don't use the contingency yeah. argument to be fair. Yeah, that but, goes into but, philosophy. But it yeah, it goes into yeah. what we're saying. Okay, because that is the argument. That is what lies at the fundamental heart. Yeah. it's a logical argument. Yeah, it's that something, uh, nothing could not have, uh, uh, nothing could not have existed. Yeah, something had to have begotten. Something had to be injected into that nothingness. For our world to be, yeah. but I'm like the universe. Uh, the way I see yep. the universe, the yep. world, I think there's so little that we really know, and we start by understanding quantum mechanics. Okay. And on the quantum level, 
it's really that's really everything that's going on. But it's just on a smaller level. Okay. But that really is lies at the heart of it. But well, why don't we apply it to the real world as well? Yeah. Like yeah. I understand you're speaking about quantum uh, mechanics. That's absolutely yeah. fine. But I want to ask you the question: Do you believe it's logical for something to come like uh, to something come out of nothing? Do you believe that's something logical? I don't think the universe is very logical. Okay. Look okay. at the universe. Wait, wait, wait. So the universe is not logical. No. So the, so the way the the universe is finely tuned, the way that we're living in Earth right now, the way the sun is coming to us, the way that our even if the sun tilted its axis by even one percent, there would be no specific human life. The way that we as humans breathe, eat food, our digestive we system. Like, for example, no, no, no. Let me tell you something. Let me give you an example that we can both understand. Our digestive systems. Yeah. So the way we eat food, you know, we absorb the healthy nutrients. Yeah. yeah and we expel all the harmful waste. Yeah. Do you believe that's luckiness? I, think, I believe that's a process. But do you believe that's lucky? No, but I, I don't know. I believe that's an evolutionary process. Okay, if you're saying lucky, then I want to ask you a question as well. Do, would it make logical sense for our nose to be on our legs? No. Why not? Well, because evolution... Maybe we're, it, maybe we're unlucky. We would die out. Yeah, but maybe we we're would unlucky. Die. Like, human, human, humanity would never get to this stage yep. if it had its nose and because evolutionary that wouldn't allow it to survive. Absolutely. So that's what I'm trying to say to you is that there's no such thing as luckiness. Yeah, we cannot say that... I'm saying yeah. that, like, look at our solar system. Okay. We're the only planet. So are you, yeah. saying, are you saying it's chaos? I'm saying it's chaos, yeah. So how would you define chaos into reality? I think like chaos exists all around us. All, you, all around so us, but on, on if our you're world. Saying, if you're saying the... Sorry to interrupt yeah, you, yeah, by the yeah, way. Yeah. So if you're saying the universe is chaos, would you describe yourself as a chaos as well? No. So then that means we're part of the universe, right? Yeah. So that are. means... So if you're, we, we exist in a separate world. No, but if you're saying that the universe is chaos, that means we are also part of the universe, so therefore yes, we are chaos. Can, yes, so like I, it would I, be I'm, a bit I'm contradictory. Saying, I mean, in the sense that like... There's, we don't know of another planet where people can live on. No, well, maybe that's true. Absolutely, I yeah. agree with you. So we, we're living. In, we're living we in a planet. Know, but, but I'm saying yeah. that, that by vote, like, yeah. we'd be lucky. That we'd be like that. No, in a, in a way, lucky. It's not lucky. But why? Why isn't our life on Mars? Yeah, because of course the way that it's been designed, there's no, it's not suitable for uh, uh, why does habit that for life. Exist, but then? no, that that is just separate. To be fair, though, but like why does it exist? No, and because our planet, our planet yeah, exists. That's fine. And we have life. But, and but then Mars exists. There's, and it there's have just life. not Mars. There's thousands of planets exactly. that exist. Exist. They don't we, have within the solar system and outside the solar system. Yeah. So when you're saying we're just a lucky one percent that just maybe even less than that that we just exist, does not make logical sense. Because when I ask you the question, <laughs> why is a nose next to our mouth? Because when we eat, when we smell food, yeah. I wouldn't call that lucky. It's Same thing. No, but when it comes to evolution, evolution is also an effect. When when it comes to the origin of universe, yes. that does not explain evolution. No, so no. Even even for example, to be fair, even if you do go down the route of evolution, no one can prove to me that I'm, I was once a monkey, then I became a human being. Or if I even even I believe in that, that could I could literally make the argument that I could become a tiger in a thousand years. Mm. Is, is that no, logical no, no, to no, you? No, no, no. That's not that's not evolution. No, but I'm just giving you an example. Yeah, yeah. But I'm just saying that. Why don't you believe? Like why, okay, why? firstly, firstly, as a Muslim, I believe this Adam came into the universe, yes, Adam course, and Eve, yeah? that's my first, first believing. Yeah. And secondly, when it comes to evolution as well, there's no, like even for example, when it comes to scientists, you have to, even you would have to agree, there's no unanimous agreement that we was once apes and we became human beings. There's no, there's a lot of missing links. Oh, no, and also, no, 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 wait, no, no, even when it comes to the fossils, when it comes to the fossils, can you provide to me any proper fossils that we were once apes or human beings? Uh, sorry, apes. Or, what we can do is look yeah. into our DNA. We can and look at similarity shows, between monkeys, yeah? No, no, what our DNA shows is yeah. we've got we've got Neanderthal DNA. Okay. Inside and what does that show? That shows mixing. Okay. That shows an that shows a process. Okay. The, an origin. evolutionary process between the Homo sapiens and those Homo eroticus and origin. There's a lot yeah, of them. But look, look, when it comes to evolution, to be fair, we can't speak about evolution yeah. all day. But that does not explain the origins of mankind. No, no, no. no. And what, well, I think the what, the topic was sorry to yeah, interrupt yeah. you. So the, the topic that we should be speaking about is a luckiness. Okay. I find that really interesting. Okay. I find that really really interesting that you're saying the world that we're living in, the sustenance, the science, the manifestation of the universe, the way the world is. So, is so completely specifically made in a way that it sustains life I don't believe that's lucky to be fair I don't believe your body your digestive system the way you eat the what way your body asteroids? has been designed what about asteroids when they come an to the asteroid could hit us absolutely what, what determines the fact that an asteroid will hit us someone could you murder you someone could, mur someone could murder you next week no 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 but what do you think let's say about that we're talking about the whole of humanity I'm just giving we're you no no but we're talking about yeah. we're talking about space interacting yep. with earth an asteroid could hit next week okay what does that depend on that could be, that's like the way the universe works. An that's, asteroid, that's wait, wait, lucky, no, no, that's, that's not lucky. Wait, 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 wait. That, that is chance. How does that make lucky? No, 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 that's chance. Okay. That's the word. Yeah. How, that's chance. No, no, no. How do we define chance into reality now? So you're talking about probability, yeah? Yes. Yeah. So what is the probability that a God created us and we, and he created us with a origin? What is the chance of that? For me, I don't like, for me it's... Because you're using chances, yeah? yeah. Which are the chances? No, okay. Wait, let's, but, but, if you, yeah. you, this is a different way of talking about okay. chances now. You see, this is like, yeah. I'm, just, I'm just talking about the fact that tomorrow, 
no, but what you said about me saying about it being lucky, yeah. the, I, I'm just saying that things lined up in a way that could sustain life, it could provide for life. Okay, can I give you an example? Because we're speaking about lucky, yeah? I'm going to give a really simple example. When it comes to this phone, yeah. let's say we're living 200 years before, yeah? yeah? There was no such thing as phones. We did not know that phones exist. Mm -hmm. And someone randomly is walking in the desert and he saw this specific phone. Yeah. Would he say this phone luckily just came into existence? Why would he not say that? I mean, he would say that, that like, that, that's not, I don't think that's a comparable scenario. Well, no, let me tell you why it is. Let me tell you why it is. You would say that was not lucky. That individual, he would see this phone. He would see this knowledge behind be it. Crazy. There's yeah, wisdom be behind crazy. it. Someone yeah. must have created this, this phone. This is a really simple example I'm giving you. So the same thing when it comes to us human beings. Do you believe when I see a human being, I'm going to assume that he just randomly came into existence? Well, I'm going to see like the beauty of your body, the way your, your joints, your yeah. nose next yeah. to your mouth, your face, your structures, your DNA that cannot be replicated by any single human being. In the Quran, it says that they cannot even make a flight. So think about this, like, wouldn't you have the same conclusion as me right now? So apply it to the phone as well, please. So apply what, the idea? So like when I see a phone 200 yeah. years ago and no one knows that phone existed. But that's uh, like, that, that phone coming into it, like that's, that's firstly that will never happen. No. Because that's an assumption no, no, that no, you've no. made a very big assumption. No, 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 no. It's the principle, my friend. Made, no, but it's the assumption. Why? No, it's not no, an assumption. Yeah, but that, no, no, that, that's a lot of technology given to a, a civilization that has not developed that technology yet. No, 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 no. The, you, I don't think you're understanding my example. The reason why I mentioned that principle of the phone yeah. is in order to see if the phone came in 200 years ago, and let's say it was not existed, what would we as logical human beings, what would we do? We would see this phone and we would not say this is lucky. Yeah. That's the conclusion that you I'm trying to make so? to you is. So you would, you're saying to me, you just literally said to me like two minutes yeah. ago that when we see this phone, we wouldn't think it's lucky. We would say someone created this. So it has purpose, it has wisdom, it has knowledge behind this phone. Yeah. So I'm saying to you is that we're applying the same logic when it I comes know. to human beings. I know, I know. So why but would you, so what would you think? Like if you, so when you see human being, do you actually, from your logic, from your natural inclination, do you believe a human being came into existence randomly? No. So it came into existence over a long process. Long of process of time. So let's go to the origins then. Okay, the origins of the universe beginning. Yes. I mean, what I believe is that like the Big Bang. I don't think that I don't think it all began there. Okay. I don't think Big Bang is an effect, nah, by the way. Nah, yeah. I don't think. Yeah. I think our world, like our universe, the idea of my point about nothingness. My okay. point I said about quantum physics. I think that the idea of nothing doesn't exist. I don't think I don't I don't think it's as simple as something was and then something that there was nothing and then there was something yes you know God created the world in seven days that very idea I don't think I think there was always this this nothingness yet this nothingness inhabited some kind of energy it had force within it so it, there's not a process of going from nothing to something it's actually a, it's an evolutionary process of of that nothingness slowly molding into the world we have today sorry but that's a contradiction why that's a contradiction because you said you don't believe that there's, there's a process of nothing to something I'm you saying, said my, you said just to clarify just yeah. to clarify so i can see if i'm on the same page yeah. you said that nothingness over an evolution period of time it became into something no that's literally the same thing that you mentioned I'm, 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 i mentioned clarify. yeah that i mentioned that nothingness on the quantum level so that not no, that nothing reality let's talk yes. about reality bro, yes yeah? but the reality nothing that, that is the reality so what though. again we're made of atoms no again that's not nothingness yes but nothing is, is nothingness. not a thing that's, it is nothingness that's my point that it is a thing no that how can nothingness be a thing at the same time it, nothing is opposite of a thing what is your view of nothing like no, let's say, nothing let's say i've got my phone here right? yeah i've got my phone and now i don't have it anymore yeah. so i've got nothing in my hand yes right but a star blows up in the universe yeah and then another star forms yeah but that's very different to what's going on here because yep. the logic that we apply on earth for example like yep. when, I, when we see something goes it's 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 within our realms it's within the, it's in within the realms within the laws of gravity within what happens on our world in our world okay. things in the universe abide by different laws so okay. what's happening here no i understand that Look, and they yeah. apply different logic different ideas apply so I, I don't think my main point is i don't think you can use humans idea of logic humans idea of nothing something and apply that to systems that we don't understand because yeah. we are affirming we're assuming that so, the way we live our life the way we assume our life is how everything happens across the whole universe yeah we're applying so you're saying to, no wait but the thing is when we in, live in this world day to day to day basis yeah we use experiences to understand yes. the concept of something so yes. what you're trying to say to me is outside the universe the same laws do no, not apply uh, okay outside wait our world. outside the world does yeah. not apply but at the same time we both have logic so we can come to a conclusion right yes. now what we're speaking is a logical conversation yes. Yes. in order to understand how the universe came through yes still to be fair it does not make logical sense when you're saying that nothingness is still something at the same time so what, let's define nothingness nothingness is as an, as an absence of anything it's the absence okay? of something wait it's the absence of something so basically is nothing yeah okay 
how, how do you really but, see but, that? No, wait, I want to like go to the next point as well. Mm -hmm. So how can that nothingness become something? Because you agreed that no, something, something, that is, something that is nothing cannot come into existence. Yeah, you agree it. with this principle. Yeah. How can that nothingness create the universe that we have right now? Because within that nothingness exists energy. Oh my goodness, that's not nothing. Bro, that's, that's not nothing. But that is odd. How, but if you how can you say energy is some is nothing? But at the same I don't, time, I don't, energy I don't is something. Think a state of nothingness exists in the way you're thinking. Okay, it. that's that's what I'm telling wait, you. That's what I don't is. think. Uh, that's what that's what that's our contention. Yeah. Is that I don't think my point, my quantum example. Yeah. That's the, that, that's just an example. Like, of yeah. Course, but would you agree that's like, subjective? Would you agree that's subjective? It's. I mean, it's it's from my not from my. So that's subjective. It's subjective. So it's, it's, it's my so it's, knowledge. It's, so so it's not. Wait, wait, wait. Subjective and knowledge they don't go hand in no, hand. No, no, no. But it's subjective knowledge. How is this? Wait, subjective because knowledge. I, I that's, mean, it's not, I, don't, I wouldn't well, say that's it's subjective. A, to be no, fair, no, no, I wouldn't say it's subjective. Subjective basically means it's based upon your opinions yes, and yes, beliefs. No, 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 no. So it's something not, that's not subjective, something that's based yeah. on your opinion and belief cannot yeah. be knowledge at the yeah. same time. That's no. contradictory by no, nature, no, no, bro. No, yeah. Yeah, I know. I yeah. know. Well, what I'm saying is that it's from my research. Okay, but bro, when it comes to your research, that's absolutely fine. But unfortunately, that's subjective. Therefore, it means it's not the truth. So when you say that nothingness can also be atoms at the same time, no, bro, it's not science. Look, for example. Even science cannot explain to you how nothing can come into existence. Yes, I'm not saying like, that. Like, for example, can science saying... explain to us the origins of the universe and how it's created? No. What they say is, they say the effect. So when it comes to the Big Bang, we can see that... They don't, yeah, they don't go to the... Yeah. the question of why. Exactly. Science does not have the information exactly. of the unseen. Exactly. Science does not have the My information is, of yeah. origin. Yeah. Yeah. They only, from a repeatability, from experimentation, this is how science answers the question. So when it comes to these type of questions that we're asking, how the universe is originated, this goes against outside science. So yeah. this is where, as human beings, we use our logical, Understandings in the Quran it tells us, will you not reason? Yeah. So Allah, that's why Allah gives the Allah yeah. mentions the uh, arguments in the Quran is that look at the uh, we Allah has created signs within yourself yeah. and He has created signs in the universe. Mm -hmm. So we see the manifestations in the universe and we come to the conclusion that these type of things that we're seeing right now, when you see the trees, when you see yourself, when you see the sky, when you see the moon. I do not believe that it could come randomly. I don't believe even from your subjective experiences, I would I would say that it's not fair. I would say that the same experiment, uh, uh, experience that you have with the world, when you see a phone, when you see a building, when you would automatically assume a creator, a wisdom, a will, a knowledge, a power, an ability behind these type of things, we would agree upon it. Let me give you an example actually. Let's say there's a crime scene. There's a crime scene and uh, there's a crime that has been committed. And so investigators, they go to the crime scene and they investigate like what happened. So what they do is they see footprints. So they see footprints of that specific thing in, in order to collect evidences. Yes, course, so yeah. what they do is they find the conclusion that there's an individual that committed the crime without actually seeing someone there. Yeah. They only do it from the evidences. Exactly. So what they look at it is the signs. So exactly. the footprints is the signs. Yes. So the same thing we see with the universe. Yeah. We see the signs in the universe when it comes to yourself. That's why I give and you... also, I mean, yeah. day of judgment. Day of judgment, to be fair, yeah, that's like, that's the that's hereafter. That's the hereafter, to be fair, yeah. That's signs. Okay. There are, you know, that in Islam, there are signs there. Yeah. For example, skyscrapers in the desert. Do you think that's profound? That, I think it's yeah. interesting. Can I think I, it's interesting. Yeah. You know, because you're talking about prophecies, I want to tell you something that I think is really, really interesting, okay. which I've learned about as well. So the Prophet Muhammad said, yeah, there'll be a time where Arabs will stop using their camels as a riding beast. And what they will be using, they'll be using a box that will get them to the masjid. That is amazing to me. 1400 years ago, a region where there's deserts, where there's Bedouin Arabs, they have no knowledge about anything. They, you know, the Persians and Byzantines, they were known for technology. Yeah? Exactly. Even then it was limited. Yeah. The Prophet predicted this 1400 years ago. So that's another way that we affirm that the Prophet Muhammad is a true Prophet. Same thing with the tall buildings. Yeah. That's amazing to be fair. Oh, no, it's, it's, yeah. it's, I'm for, not, like, yeah. I never, I'll never discount the, the So you agree with the prophecies as well. But the thing is, the problem is, like, I can say, if you agree with the prophecies, then that means we have to affirm that the Prophet is truthful. No, no, I'm, yeah. I'm, just, I'm just asking your view on it. Let's yeah, no, yeah, to yeah, be yeah. fair, it's beautiful to be fair. It Another is, thing, yeah. which I think is another beautiful thing, a prophecy, because we're speaking about prophecies, and I find it so interesting, that's why I love speaking about it as well. Yeah. The prophet said there will be a time when an individual who will narrate a lie, and on the same day, it would reach far east, far west. Social media. Bro, social media, bro. Yeah, I yeah. can literally make a lie on Twitter right now. Yeah. I could excuse you, for example, fornication, yeah? yeah? And it would reach all the way to China, all the way to America Everyone on the same day. 1400 years ago, in order for me to send them a letter, even from a horse, it would take me three days just to go to, for example, like um, Birmingham for example two yeah. days yeah. let alone the same day so that's another beautiful thing no, it's, it's very so profound. these interesting prophecies shows that the prophet muhammad was a truthful prophet yes. he came with the revelation yeah. same thing when it comes to islam let me just summarize islam to you bro yeah just so we can you can understand where we're coming from even though to be fair like i think you're kind of lacking in regards to understanding the origins of the universe i believe you have a subjective experience of how you believe the universe created but what i would recommend you to do is put your desires to the side put your subjective information to the side See what the truth is. See what the logic is. But you know why? Is you know why? 
you're no, being subjective look, in your, no, no. In your well, everyone has subjective uh, yeah. experiences but at the same time when I say something I try to substantiate it with evidences now for example there was an Oxford study that was done as well and the Oxford study what they did is they put babies in an island yeah I think they spent two million on this project I think it was established in 2014 okay. and they came to the conclusion that if a baby has limited human contact not limited no human contact at all that baby is naturally born for the inclination to believe in one creator so naturally, some, I'm not saying that's an argument only to prove God's existence, but I'm saying this is something that's natural within us but to I believe in a God. I think that tells you something about humans. Uh, yeah, I think on. that tells you something that humans need a God to understand their place in the world. No, humans, we need to understand who created us in yes. order for us to understand yes. our place in the world. Exactly. Because for exactly. example, if God exists, then he's the only person that is most wise to give us revelations to follow. Otherwise, we'd be following subjective morality. Like in this country, like 50 years ago, homosexuality was a crime. Yeah. Now, homosexuality is normal. Yeah. Incest is at the moment, it's illegal. 50 years from now, I don't know, incest could be normalized as well. That's what happens when, you come, when a society lacks God, when it lacks legislation. But there's incest in Afghanistan. Where, where, where's incest in I Afghanistan? Because I'm originally Pashtun, so yeah. I'm, I, I live, I'm from Pakistan, but I'm Pashtun, Pashtun. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm Pashtun, so we I come from that region, yeah? Like, for example, where, where's where the incest? You can't be saying there's incest in the UAE. Yeah. It was all very incestuous. Wait, you're talking about cousin marriage? Yeah. Yeah, we're not talking about cousin marriage. Because okay. cousin marriage was absolutely a normal thing for thousands of years that's in history. I mean. yeah, in order for why, people yeah. to multiply, they had to do cousin marriages anyway, yeah? yeah, yeah. That's a different thing. When that's I'm saying incest, I'm talking about brother and sister and mother and son. This is what we classify as incest. Okay, okay. So this is what I was talking about, that has okay. been, that been normalised. Okay. That's what happens when a society lacks God. So even when you see many of the problems in the world right now, that we see, for example, look at London and look at Dubai. You, as a person, used to live in Dubai. You used to see the legislations. Even though, like, you know, a lot of people make the argument... Dubai is a very fake country. Yeah? Dubai is a very fake country. Artificial, you can say. You can yeah. say it's an artificial country, but it's a safe place to live, it's right? It's a safe place to live. Like, you could so be a rich I, person, I, yeah. you could have a watch, you could have a million dollars. The are very high. Absolutely. But why are they high? Slavery. Okay, we, we don't agree with everything that Dubai does. No, but no, we'll, but, I'm that's but we have why, to affirm. That's why you live no, a good life. No, no. When you say slavery, I wouldn't say slavery. People that work nine to five, we can say that's slavery as well. Oh, no, you compare it. To no, no, no. I know. There's, look, I'm oh, from Pakistan. I'm from Pakistan. Yeah, yeah, I know there's many that. expats that work there. Yes, they get uh, treated badly. I agree with that. They, they live in labor camps. No, that's wrong. That's wrong. That's wrong. Absolutely. And I see it. But what I'm trying to say to you is yeah. the principle of Dubai establishing legislations that go with the Sharia is something that's commendable and that's something that could be is applied to the world right now. Because, for example, in the UK, you could have a watch get stolen, you could get stabbed. Okay, yeah? yeah. Why? Because there's a lack of morality here. There's a lack of punishment there. Over there. So, you, 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 don't, you don't wait, wait. In the, you don't. You don't think that. The British system is, the courts are very good. No. no. There's good, there's benefits, for example, let me tell you the good things about this, uh, the UK system. You know, it has child benefits. Let me tell you something, you know, child benefits was, ti was established at the time of Umar ibn Khattab. So, you know, children yeah. that, had, that needed, like, when they had no fathers. So, he established a benefit system where money was given to them. The UK follows the exact same system. I agree with these type of things, benefits and these type of things. However, when it comes to the punishments, I disagree with that. For example, if a person, he's robbing someone, he gets one year and he goes out of prison. Yeah. What they should be having is a deterrent that's, that prevents people from committing crimes. And why I, do people commit, why does someone rob someone? There's many reasons. Either it could be from poverty, and in Islam we believe if an individual is stealing food because our, our hungry and necessity is not to be punished. Yeah. But some people, a lot of people in this country, they commit crimes because of the lack of punishment and the lack of deterrence. But you, you don't think that, for example, gang, yep. gang violence, yep. like selling drugs, yep. where do you think that comes from? Do you yep. think that if you, tomorrow, all the drug dealers in London are now subject to getting beheaded? Yep. Do you think that's going to stop drug dealing? Look, look at Dubai right now. You know when you get caught by drugs, what happens to you in Dubai? If you're rich, nothing. Huh? If you're rich, nothing. It's, in certain <laughs> countries, these type of things happen. That's every country. If but you, know, no, no. If you know, guys, yeah? nothing. No, that's understandable. I understand even in Pakistan, there's a system where a lot of people have money. There's something called rishwet. They pay them yeah. and they get away with it. Yeah. However, when it comes to an individual that is selling drugs in the street, that individual will not be able to survive. But yeah? why does he sell drugs? No, but the thing is, let's talk about the UK because you mentioned yes, the UK no, no, as an no, example. I'm asking you. I'm yeah. asking you. Yeah. So, if tomorrow, yeah. all the rapists, let's say, yeah. all rapists, all, everyone got their head cut yeah. off. Does that stop rape? Does that stop rape? No, firstly, we need to understand we're not living in a utopia. So there's always going to no, be no, crime. No, I'm just, I'm no, no, just, I'll answer your question. A, I'll, I'll, yeah, I'll answer your question. Yeah. Firstly, we're not living in a utopia. Therefore, there will always be crimes that be committed. But in order to reduce the severity of crimes, I believe if you establish a system where, where there will be deterrence involved, for example, well, a rapist... You address the cause? No, no, this cause as well, I agree with you. But punishment is also important. We can go cause to later. But I'm telling you now, in the UK right now, if you put the capital punishment, for example, for murderers, if you put the capital punishment and castration for a rapist, 
I guarantee you, you will see a drop rapidly because it will be a deterrent. And, yeah. and, and of course, I agree, it's not just the punishments. There has to be a system that puts in place that's talked about rehabilit uh, uh, rehabilitation, um, other processes as well for the system. Yeah. I, I don't know how we go, go into this topic, to be fair. We were speaking about God, yeah. we were speaking about punishment. It's absolutely fine. No, no, no. Yeah. It's, I'm saying it's interesting, though. It's interesting. Yeah, it's interesting yeah. But yeah. England had capital punishment for yeah. a very long time. Yeah, but, and it actually proved that it, yeah, if you actually look yeah. at it, it, showed, it didn't really stop yeah, crime. But when it comes to 200 years ago, when it comes to the UK, no. there's a lot of... Wait, when was the last month 50, I think 60 years ago, actually. 60, 70 60 years, years, ago. years ago. Yeah, but the thing is, the capital ago. punishment is a good legislation to be applied for murders and rape. However, the way it's implemented and the system that is implemented, that's also important. If you lack the system, then the capital punishment is going to be it's going to be useless. Yeah, but all that capital punishment does. Okay, can I? I think. Let's give you an example. Let's give you an example. Saudi Arabia, for example. Saudi Arabia, there's a capital punishment for rapists. There's a capital punishment for murderers. Look at the cr the safety in Saudi Arabia. Look at the, the crimes in Saudi Arabia. It has one of the lowest percentages in the world. Not necessarily because of that. No, it is. It's because of a totalitarian system of control that they've embraced. This is because of Sharia. No, it's not just because of control. Control is a good thing as well, okay, to be fair. Look at, uh, MBS. Yeah. He's, yeah. Abandoning, he's abandoning the, not the Sharia, but he's, he's, he wants to westernize. He wants to westernize. Well, that's, that's a different topic, to be fair, like westernizing the country. I'm talking about the laws and legislation. Yes. I'm saying that the laws and legislation. Got rid of the, got rid of the uh, yeah. Yeah. secret police. Yeah. Um, yeah. Police. Okay, yeah, that's fine. But I'm talking about the laws and legislations that's practiced in Saudi Arabia prevents people from committing a crime. Because I guarantee you, if an individual knows that he's going to get publicly executed, for committing this specific crime, it will prevent it rapidly, intensively. If it's implemented correctly, if it's not implemented correctly, then I'll, and if I could just pay a person, like for example, if a rich person commits a crime and he does not get punished for it, then why, why would he care? So that's why it depends on the system. So that means a system which Sharia, a poor person and a rich person, a high status person and a low status person, yeah. they're both treated equally in the course of Islam. Yes. Yeah, and that's, that's the way you can prevent that. Innocent yeah. until proven guilty. Yeah, you know, I, I like. I don't think necessarily if you if you like cut people's heads off if you kill people. Yeah, and that will necessarily stop crime. Well, what I, it would do. Yeah. What it would do is people would be a lot more smart about the way they commit crime. No, 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 no. Bro. Because what what's, what is crime? Yeah. It's the expression of one's individual yeah. dissatisfaction with something in the system. And, he, and yeah. how does you how yeah. do you then enfranchise yeah. the individual? You include them in society, you societal programs from youth. Yeah. The reason why drug dealing gang culture is so bad in London is because of it's because of the estates. There's many different reasons yes, behind but that. It's yeah. because of the estates I agree, and, bro. And, yeah. and grooming culture. Grooming. Yeah. Yeah. It's it's like older older guys groom younger yeah. into doing yeah. this. Yeah. What's killing them gonna do about that? Okay, now like I said to you, my bro is that I agree that it's not just a capital punishment. Yeah. I agree with the systems. Yeah. If you want me to expand on the systems, I will tell you so many ways. No, no. Education, yeah. okay? Uh, treating the poor and rich the same. High status and low status the same. Giving them good education. Poverty as well, because poverty also increases crime. So it's a whole system to exactly. be fair, bro. Exactly. I'm, I'm not... Fix the system, yeah. the so that's what I'm saying. Come. So with this system, it's really important to have that capital punishment, I believe. Okay, I okay. believe it's really important to have this no, in so order to prevent people. I and I believe there's a lot of individuals right now that are committing crimes without any... Look, when you go to prison is like luxury bro it's like living in travel like a travel lodge bro premier yeah, inn yeah. do you think these pri these are prisons bro yeah. if people would have these type of prisons do you but think look at, look at scandinavia yeah. yeah in scandinavia there's a lot less crime yeah and they treat criminals differently yeah so they they like you said travel lodge yeah but that reduces the crime yeah because it makes it makes people they re re like introduce you could argue it's a bit too yeah. radical how they how they're okay. very nice with the okay. with the sentencing and stuff. But yeah. actually, it does actually have a positive effect because yeah. those countries are also very safe. Okay. And the Scandinavian, northern countries, they are w way more liberal yeah. in the way they treat criminals and okay. rapists and whatever. And yet the societies are a lot safer. Okay, yeah, but when you're talking about a country where it has a lot of immigrants, when we're talking about a country that has a high population as well, and when we could talk about a country, a lot of yeah, in yeah, yeah, I understand that. But when we talk about a country that has all these factors, then it's really important to have these principles. So I agree, there's a system that needs to be taken place. But bro, I know, I'm so confused how we got to this topic. Because we were speaking about the, the foundations, which is truth. But anyways, I need to pray now, so I'm going to conclude no worries, the conversation, bro. 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 It's really nice talking to you. Lovely, but what I recommend, my bro, yeah, look, when it comes to Islam, study it. Because yes. it makes logical sense yes. and it's tangible as well. Yes, so just give me, let me just give you a two minute breakdown of what Islam is, and then I'll leave you to it, yeah? So Islam is a simple religion, yeah? We believe in one God. We yeah. don't believe as any partners. We only worship that one entity. And we believe that from his wisdom and from his knowledge, he sent messengers to convey the message in order for us to accept the truth. Yeah. So the revelations, came from the prophets and in order to distinguish the, the prophets from other people he gave the prophets uh, miracles he gave them prophecies in order for us to know that there's a prophet because otherwise any person 
can say that he's a prophet and say X, Y, Z, how are we going to differentiate them? So he gave like for example, Jesus, Moses, Noah, Prophet Muhammad with revelation to convey to the people with miracles, with prophecies in, and they came with the same message. All of them came with a message to worship one God because mm -hmm. we believe that's the most important element. We don't, if, if God exists, then imagine I have a neighbor, I'm really good to my neighbor, but I'm not good to my own mother. Yes. I, and in the sight of people, I'd be a good person. But am I really a good person? No, because I'm not good to my own mother. Same thing when it comes to the creator. If I'm not good to my creator, then I'm not good to his creation as well. Yeah. So that's why we have to be good to our creator first, then we are really good. Yeah. Just because I'm good to you, but I'm not good to the Creator, does not mean I'm good. Yeah. That's why we follow the Prophets and Messengers. And the Prophet Muhammad, he came with the last message, he came with the Quran, he came with the Hadith. You also understand the prophecies and the miracles. Yes. You find it quite interesting. You're like, wow, it's amazing. Now, when it comes to the subjective element, try to move your desires. Because in the Quran, it says, do not take your desires as your Lord. So try not to take your desires as your Lord, as in like, oh, it's the truth. Try to stay away from it. See if it makes sense. And maybe one day, inshallah, hopefully next time I see you, you're going to be a Muslim. Or if not, any questions, you can just give me a shout. Nah, it's not even about Dawah, bro. It's all about the truth because everyone has conversation. Yeah, 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 yeah. I like conversation like I this. Like to be fair. As well, man. I'm I, tired I of like just. Your style, man. I, like I your style, really appreciate it. I'm tired yeah. of all these conversations where people are shouting, bro, screaming. Bro, are, and you know, man. a lot of people, they come for cameras, they come for flight, fame, clout. I speak to people. Most of the time, I speak off camera, to be fair. Yeah. I hardly speak on camera. And that's why I love these conversations because, you know, when people, when the cameras come, their personality yeah, changes. No, Glad you were the same as yeah. just before the camera and on the camera, you're the same person. And I'm sure you believe the same about me. Really nice talking to you, bro. I'm getting late for Maghrib. What was your name again? Uh, Alexi. Alexi, nice to meet you. My name is Sama. Really nice talking to you. 